Captain's Log. Having witnessed the eventual extinction of mankind, triggered when Stargate Universe was cancelled, we have traveled back to the 21st century to continue our struggle to revive the series. Sir, I have discovered a way for us to meet with Reed Hastings, Chief Executive Officer of Netflix. Impossible. We are fictional characters in a web show. Reed Hastings is a real person. We cannot reach the real world. True, but the real world can reach us. In the quantum foam which fills the universe, wormholes of minuscule size are constantly created and destroyed. They are like tunnels that can lead to any time and place, even to fictional worlds. I programmed the computer to use our scanners to seek wormholes which lead here from Reed Hastings' location. It found one, and the ship's engines are now supplying power to expand and maintain it. The two of us can traverse it to the real world. Inconceivable. Speck, your genius is magnificent. To reality and beyond. Captain, we are standing at the threshold between reality and fiction. I recommend caution. One step forward and you will disappear in a puff of logic. This is an auditorium in which Reed Hastings is delivering a speech. The audience behind us is fictional but, as you can see, the stage and Reed Hastings are real. Random chance appears to have operated in our favor. It seems we arrived during a pause in his presentation. Mr. Hastings, I am Captain Kurt and my fellow traveler is First Officer Speck. We are from a possible future that became a fictional web series when the TV program Stargate Universe was cancelled. You will surely believe us, given that we are computer animated and speak in synthesized voices. We have come to plead for Netflix to revive Stargate Universe, just like Netflix plans to revive Arrested Development. Mr. Hastings, I understand why you might hesitate. Netflix cannot revive every cancelled television series. But it is logical to favor Stargate Universe. As epic space science fiction, its audience demographics perfectly match those of Netflix subscribers. Indeed, a study by the Internet Commerce Security Laboratory measured Stargate Universe to be the number two most watched television program among Internet viewers, barely behind Lost. Over 7 million Netflix reviews have rated the Stargate franchise an average of 4 stars. They give Stargate Universe the number one rating of the entire franchise. The logical conclusion is that the Nielsen ratings for Stargate Universe represent only a small fraction of the show's audience, because the Nielsens do not count internet viewers. You should believe your customer data instead. You should also believe renowned financial advisors such as The Street which recently published an article specifically urging Netflix to revive Stargate Universe, and Forbes, which has reported three times on the importance of the campaign to save the show. Logic dictates that reviving Stargate Universe will profit Netflix. Mr. Hastings, you seem to be unmoved. Perhaps Speck's logical rhetoric is too dry. Permit me to make a more emotional appeal. This show is too good to let die. Dozens of Emmy, Constellation, Leo, Gemini, and Portal nominations and awards have recognized Stargate Universe's quality. More than 68,000 fans have joined the Safe Stargate Universe Facebook page. MGM Studios' Facebook page is still filled with pleas for the show's revival. Recently, Sci-Fi Network requested its Facebook fans to vote for their all-time favorite shows. The Stargate franchise dominated the results. Few television series inspire such tenacious loyalty. Mr. Hastings, you're a champion of education. Like all great science fiction, Stargate Universe incorporates real scientific fact into its stories. Chemistry, medicine, astronomy, mathematics, and physics. The show also teaches important life lessons. Time and again, no matter what their differences, people learn to cooperate. Military and civilian, invader and defender, faithful and atheist, human and alien, they find common ground and work together. Most of all, Stargate Universe gives us a sense of wonder. It is more than space opera. It is the only television series actually about the challenges of space travel and the majesty of the cosmos. 
It is a reminder that our destiny is to reach for the stars. If there exists any action that could demonstrate Netflix's desire to serve not merely itself, but also the benefit of mankind, it is the revival of Stargate Universe. Spec, what's going on? Reed Hastings is still looking away from us. Does he refuse to listen? Are we getting the cold shoulder? Negative. My calculations fail to account for the time dilation factor between reality and fiction. Everything we have said and done in this room has taken less time than the wink of an eye. Then it was all for nothing. Wait. I have an idea. Surely it would be a simple matter to use your volcanic brain blend to implant a desire in Reed Hastings' mind to save Stargate Universe. A simple matter? You have obviously never seen the film Inception. However, I will try. My brain, to your brain. Our imaginations are like twin lava flows from erupting volcanoes, merging together. Did it work? I am uncertain. Due to the time dilation factor, I was only able to implant a short message into his subconscious, the three letters, S, G, U. Well, it was worth a try. Listen up, viewers. Speck's telepathic message may not be sufficient. But Reed Hastings is a visionary, and Netflix is an innovative company. If you can get their attention, they will recognize the wisdom of reviving Stargate Universe. Put this video on the Netflix Facebook page as often as possible. Email it to their executives. Share, tweet, blog, embed. Save the Stargate, save the world. Scuba Gear Unlimited, how may I help you?